Welcome to this Windows and Computer Channel and uh, Technology, of course. Now, and other annoyances that we could see in Windows 10, it's um, something that has to do with the user account control settings. Now, it isn't too bad in Windows 10, but those that have used Windows Vista know how annoying the user account control can be all the time. The user account control is there to actually warn you about modifications that your PC is going through. And this has to do with the software you have installed. And it's not bad that it has a certain threshold that it warns you because sometimes you might have software that you don't know about or you have maybe something else that installed with the software you installed. And you're warned about what is trying to modify Windows. So user account control, you can go into the search and type UAC in Windows 10 and you'll see change user account control settings. These are in the control panel. That's where it's all happening. Now, there's several settings for it. One of them is the default actually is notify me when apps try to make changes to my computer. So when you install a new app, for example, it's going to say, oh, this app is trying to make changes, or yes or no. And the threshold that it is already isn't too bad, but for some people it's still too much. Be careful what you choose, because there's a good side to being notified about changes on your PC. You might have something changed, and you're warned, and you don't know what it is, and you can actually research it and see, what is this that's trying to make a modification on my PC? So um, some apps also might trigger this because they are apps that aren't running as administrators and you might be actually using an app that is in compatibility mode, for example. Often these apps will actually trigger the UAC. So the level that it is set is there's four settings, basically. Of course, the most invasive setting is any apps and any changes to Windows will warn you. The setting by default is apps that will make modifications, but no, nothing is going to tell you that you're making modifications if you're changing settings, for example. And then there's lower. Lower is not recommended in general, but it's don't notify me when I change Windows settings. One reason you might want to choose this on older computers where it takes a lot of time for the Windows to react it might actually slow down and take a f a several seconds before a pop-up and the dimming of the screen happens to say, oh, there's something happening that's going to change. If that annoys you because it's long, you can change that setting to this level, which means no notification will be done when actually um, you, know, you make changes and um, only when certain apps try to change what your computer do but it will not dim the desktop and create all this effect. And last, and the one that I would not recommend in general, is uh, just don't notify me about anything all the time. I don't want to know. I don't care. Um, this I don't recommend. You know, some of you might put it there because it's like I don't, you know, I don't want to have these pop-ups all the time. Uh, but I would not recommend it because there is a advantage in knowing what is modifying your PC. Personally, in Windows 10, I kind of find that the level that it's default is fine. But like I said, if you do think it's too annoying, too invasive, depending on what you do, you can actually lower the level. And if you want to have the maximum amount of you know security and know what everything changes and every changes that exist in your PC all the time, well, you could put it at maximum and always notify. And once it's done, you just press the OK button and it's going to say, oh, OK, well, do you want to make the modifications? Yep. And that's going to be the default setting. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.